Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, real quick today, we have the news update for the Kamehameha family, the trio for the Broly event, their new Extreme Z Awakenings. And yes, this is all the information. So I have the leader abilities. Uh, I, I have the non like dupe system uh, base stats, <laughs> that is, uh, and their passive skills. So we have all this information. So I'm very happy about this. Uh, well, for the most part, anyway. I, I definitely plan on... Gonna, I'm definitely going to Extreme Z Awaken them when they come to Global. Uh, obviously, JP is definitely secondary for me. Um, so, I'm still working on the World Tournament, guys. I'm at about almost 20 million points. I'm hoping to have the full 30 million by tomorrow night. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, I don't really plan on placing for the Trunks. Hopefully, maybe I can pull him once we get the specific uh, units for the World Tournament. But anyway, um, over here, we have the data download on the JP side for the new Easy Awakening. Um, essentially, there was a whole bunch of Reddit posts, so shout out to everyone on the Reddit. Thank you for gathering all this information, but it does look like um, Wiki, the Wiki over here, the Dokkan Battle Wiki, actually has all of the information. So if you guys are looking for that, go on to the Wiki as of right now. It's May 7th at 1230 in the morning. Um, go on to the Wiki and check out the new stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, first one's going to be the Gohan, because this is the one that I was the most interested in, because I want to see how much he was going to increase. Turns out he didn't increase too much. Unyielding Go, uh, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan Gohan Teen. Uh, let's see, leader ability, all types, attack plus 40%. Goes to all types, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Not that bad, especially if you were a newer player. Plus, you could purchase, well, on the global side, you can get ready, because you can purchase these guys from the peel-off uh, shop if you want to. You can get the Kamehameha ticket and go into the Baba shop to buy them. Um, super attack goes from supreme damage to greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. So it does definitely help. It does make him more beneficial. Um, I would most likely throw some dupe system into him and give him maybe like crit or something like that because he's definitely going to do some good damage. You can, he is agility. So that greatly raises attack is going to do a lot of damage if he gets a, an, agility, um, a, a, an additional attack. That is. So he's definitely going to do really well there if you want to. I would personally just give him some crits. Because he already has the built-in additional, so you're going to have some good chances for getting additionals off. Passive skill was disables Rampage, attack plus 90%. Now it's just attack plus 90% and defense plus 40% when performing a super attack. And disables Rampage. So they just gave him a 40% de um, a buff to his defense, which isn't bad. Plus, remember, you get the, the buff to his uh, super his super attack on his uh, wall. He's on his super. So that's definitely going to make him a little bit better for doing some good damage output. He already does really good damage output for who he is as a unit, and um, I'm pretty sure I have all four dupe pads on locked on mine, so I'm probably gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna 100% him, not by any means, but he's not that bad, you know what I mean, he's really not that bad, uh, link skills are all gonna stay the same, nothing really changes, at least from what I was, what I have seen so far, um, he's part of the same uh, categories, hybrid Saiyans and Majin Buu, uh, unfortunately his stats have not been put up by here on the wiki, um, I do have the stats over here, so the Gohan, the, this is, it has no orb investment whatsoever, um, I'm going to bring this over here just so that way you could see on the screen and I can read off the differences that you see here. Um, so also shout out to the Reddit for that, for that post, by the way. So his max stats right now are HP of 8102, attack of 8573, and defense of 4393. That's going to get buffed up to, let's see, HP is going to be 10,494, attack of 11,183, and defense of 5,523. So he's going to be really ridiculous. And then you think about the dupe system he's going to get. Um, that's 5,000 on the dupe system per, well, about 5,000, um, if you get all four dupe pads unlocked, and then about 2,000 if you don't. So he's really not doing that bad for in terms of damage output by any means. He's probably going to be one of the top units that you're going to, at least an A tier unit, not an S tier, but an A tier unit you're going to want on your team. I mean, he's borderline S tier from, from looking at this. Uh, I don't know if his 12 key multiplier is going to change as of right now. It looks like it's still 135%. His super attack does go up to level 15. We don't have any of the stats as of right now. Well, that's going to go up to, um, but it's definitely obviously going to do increased damage or something to that effect. We already have that kind of stuff go on. Um, maybe it's actually one of the time you have to, well, super attack 15 is obviously going to do more damage, um, but um, maybe there'll be some other uh, added effect on there when you get to 15. Who knows? Um, after Z Awakening, animations, uh, super attack, damage deal indicator will slightly change, uh, but he'll work as a normal unit. That's pretty awesome. I think he's a really good unit. Uh, most likely going to be crit investment if you're uh, going to put orbs into him. Uh, personally, I'm, I don't know if I am or not. It depends on what happens if we get a lot of orbs in for agilities. 
But anyway, next one is going to be the Goku, the Goku card. Now, Goku card, I'm, he looks actually pretty good. Um, uh, I don't know how I, if I would actually run him on my team because the strength, the, the hero strength team has so many damn units on it that's super OP. Um, he just like doesn't compete even with his extreme. So he is Miraculous Kamehameha Super Saiyan Goku. His old leader ability was agility, intelligence, and strength type HP, attack, and defense plus 30. Now it's the same types, key plus 2 HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. So again, for newer players, he's going to become a really good leader for you. Um, for running these units and plus remember this a strength and agility he's going to be a good leader for brand new players for the uh this goku this goku card the goten card because the goten is strength and the agility gohan card so he can do a decent leader ability for that his uh super attack family kamehameha was supreme damage now it's supreme damage to the enemy and raises allies attack by 25 percent for one turn so it's only going to be really useful if you have him in the first slot um, passive skill was Disable Rampage when HP is 30% or above, key plus 3, attack plus 50%. His new one is Disable Rampage when HP is 30% or above, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 80%. I really feel like they should have dropped the 30% when HP or when HP is 30% or above. I feel like that would have been a little bit more useful. But um, attack and defense plus 80% is definitely not bad. Uh, he will be uh, blocking, tanking a little bit better with that. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, outside of that, I mean... 80% attack buff for a mono strength team. There are definitely units you could definitely put above him. He's, I'd say he's like a, maybe a mid-tier A unit or a lower-tier A unit, depending on who you're running. Um, I, just because he does have the defensive buff, and you always like defensive buffs because it definitely helps him tank a lot better. Uh, plus, he's on the Majin Buu Saga and Pure Saiyans Saga categories, so he's definitely going to be able to tank. Because remember, Pure Saiyans is HP and defense up plus 170%. When you add that additional 80% uh, buff to it for defense, he's not going to be taking any damage. So he can become very useful, but obviously you have other units on there that are very useful as well. I mean, think about it, you have Jiren, you have Topo, you have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. Um, you have the Go OG Gogeta card, the ultimate Gohan. There's a lot of other strength units that you can put in place here uh, that would probably be better off. Link skills look like they're staying in the same categories are the same. Uh, max stats, let's see, um, HP of 9389 is going to go to 12,046. Attack was 8279, which is now going to go to 10,815. And defense was 4,117, which now is going to go to 5,190. Pretty awesome. Same thing as the other cards. Um, 12 key, don't know if that's going to get modified at all. Right now, it's still 135% from, from what I know. And super attack is going to go up to level 15, which will also increase the damage modifier. So there you go. That card's really awesome. Again, I don't know if I'm ever going to run him on a primary unit. Honestly, guys, I would not invest orbs into this one just because I'm, there are a lot of other units that you can do. I mean, if you want to go right ahead, he does have the built-in crit. So if you're trying to do base tube system, maybe uh, you definitely have an overabundance of base or, or small orbs. So you can get up to giving him the, the free crit if you want to. Uh, I do have him super attack 10 with all four dupe as unlocked. It's just I don't even with this uh, extreme Z awakening, I don't think it's worth it. But he is a cool card, and he is going to get this Extreme Z Awakening, so use it if you guys like him. Uh, last but not least is going to be the Goten card, which I, I was really, really hoping they were going to give him a Weirus pass passive. I think that would have been awesome, but it's all right. They do not. Uh, let's see. Furious Kamehameha Super Saiyan Goten Kid. His old leader ability was a, like a small nuker. Uh, attack plus 7% for every key orb. Now, it's attack and defense plus 15% for every key orb obtained. Not that bad, honestly. Um, nuking is definitely outdated by many many metas like the 70 percent meta the 100 meta uh the hero meta the 120 meta and now the category meta so it's very very old uh chances of you actually running this are very very limited but i like what they did here with the defensive buff as well not a lot of people will have the defensive buff here uh so you get a good um you get you could you can actually tank and it's every key orb it doesn't mean it's nothing specific so that's awesome uh, his super attack is was supreme damage, is now supreme damage, and raises defense by 30% for three turns. Eh, I mean, uh, honestly, this guy's going to be on rotation, so that defense is going to be nice because he's going to be getting attacked a lot, or when he does get it, he, he will not be attacked first. He's always going to super attack before he gets attacked because he's an orb changer. That's why he's going to be on the end, most likely. Uh, so that's cool. I mean, you if you want to feed tube system in, I probably wouldn't, I really wouldn't recommend it. I would most likely go with additionals on him. Just because if you go additionals, he can increase his defense a lot better if he's getting additionals off. Think about it, you know, one turn does double super attack, he's getting a 60% buff instead of a 30% buff. Um, his passive for his Z Awakening it goes from Disable Rampage, physical changes physical to rainbow. 
Uh, attack plus 30% to disable rampage, changes physical key to rainbow. But now his attack plus 30 goes to attack and defense plus 70%. So he does do a lot more damage, especially for an orb changer. That's awesome. I personally run him on a world tournament team with my LR Broly right next to my LR Broly. Uh, I usually keep him off rotation, that way LR Broly can get the Super Saiyan links if I put the Broly in the middle. I always try to keep a stunner on rotation for preliminary, specifically preliminaries anyway. But uh, Goten will sit right next to Broly, and when Broly's going to do a super attack, he will get that additional super, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, Super Saiyan link skill for an extra 10%. Plus, physical to rainbow will help Broly get his key off without you having to use items. So, um, having Goten here... Let's say your LR Broly, for whatever reason, cannot, or your regular Broly, cannot um, finish off the opponent. Attack and defense plus 70% with a Broly lead, with uh, the OG Broly lead, that is, you know, his Extreme Z Awakening, Janemba lead, or whoever. Uh, that Goten might be able to take out that last agility unit, so you don't have to go another round, which could save you some time. It's definitely going to be very beneficial. I, I personally like it. Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to Extreme Z Awaken him. I'm definitely not going to feed Dupe System into him. Link skills stay the same. Uh, in terms of max stats, uh, no dupe system involved. His HP was 9848. It looks like it goes to 12,668. His attack was 7838. His attack now is 10,217. And his defense was 4439, which is now 5566. So overall, not bad. Again, super attack level 15 with a 12 key multiplier, most likely going to stay at 135. So overall, a decent unit. Personally, out of the three of these, I mean, just like it was before the Extreme Z Awakening was announced, this Gohan is still probably going to be the primary one if you're going to put Dupe System in, just because, I mean, greatly raising attack, attack plus 90%. He does give himself a small defensive buff. Uh, Disables Rampage, I guess, is cool. Uh, he's definitely useful in the Broly events because he is agility. The OG Broly events, definitely useful. Uh, the newer one with the physical, maybe the Goku you would want to put some dupe system in, but honestly, I think the Gohan would be a little bit better off. Um, outside of that, I mean, I mean, they're both they're all good units. You know, they are all good units. I personally just think that Gohan, since he is already technically an A tier unit before the Extreme Z Awakening, this just makes him another like it continues or boosts him to a higher rank on that A tier scale, in my opinion, anyway. But anyway, guys, that's it. I am excited about this. I can't wait to see what happens. Maybe we'll find out more information about the multipliers in the future. Who knows? Maybe something cool will happen when you get them with a super attack level 15. Sometimes they do that with some units, like you could launch a super attack earlier. I don't think that's going to happen, but they'll probably get like a 30% attack buff on their super attacks or something like that if you get them with super attack 15. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Let me know if you guys liked the new stats that are coming out for that, that came out for these cards. I don't know when they're actually going to be available. So uh, I guess stay tuned for that, and I'll definitely let you guys know. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.